Well, so many people to recognize. Many people across the Trinity generations have worked hard to realize their visions for great buildings to support a great college. The Sisters of Notre Dame, who we honor constantly, and thank you, Sister Pat, for recognizing them, and I recognize you again. Sisters of Notre Dame, we wouldn't be here without you. Thank you. They've been marvelous. They were the original visionaries, and they're still our spiritual mothers, and they were amazing builders. Recognize all of the work they did. Sisters Julia McGordy and Mary Euphrasia Taylor built that great building, Main Hall, behind us. This is the original wing of Maine uh, that we're looking at right now. It needs some work, but it's the original. <laughs> There's more work to be done if anybody's wondering. We'll get to that. Sister Raphael of the Sacred Heart had that vision when she built the beautiful Notre Dame Chapel and also Alumni Hall. Sister Berkman's Julia knew the importance of providing first-class science laboratories for Trinity students when she pressed to get the science building constructed during the early years of World War II. Say goodbye to the science building now. It's a great building for its day, and it will be disappearing over the summer, but mm, we, we salute you, science building, and Sister Berkman's Julia. How about that? How about a shout out for the science building? For those who don't know quite seriously, the science building will be raised and this road that we're sitting on will continue on down through to the, the lower parking lot and the back entrance. So we'll have a continuous flow through the campus. And the architects were just so thrilled. I know Kip Ellis, our architect is here, will recognize you later. They were all in Clark Construction. They were just thrilled to be able to build on this slope. They loved this particular site very much was one of the great challenges of your careers, and you did magnificently, thank you as well. Well, in the 1960s, Sister Margaret Clayton had the grand vision for buildings to enlarge and sustain Trinity's mission. She built the library, the music and art wing on Main Hall. She built Kirby Hall, our residence, and she envisioned a revitalized science center and many grand new buildings in a learning commons. Today, over the years, we have gone back to her vision repeatedly to see what she had in mind, and today we are pleased that she could be here to witness this one part of her dream becoming a reality. There's many more parts that we're working on, but today I salute Sister Margaret Clayton, who inspired me to think of this beautiful new building. Sister Margaret. And Sister Margaret cannot pass the opportunity to say a few words. Well, with passion, I thank every person who is here who has donated and made this building possible. Thank you all. And I say also, a building is just a building. And it, you know, adds character to a campus. But a building does not have soul or have life, the principle of soul, until students are streaming in. And we all look forward to that day when the students will come streaming into this building and give thanks, as always, for all the people who have made this possible. Thank you all.